This is part two of 4.06, Specific Heat. The Space Shuttle and Space Station use radiators. Like your car, the Space Shuttle must eliminate heat. Most of the heat comes from the internal electronics and external sunlight. So the shuttle uses a cooling system similar to one in a car. It has heat exchangers that circulate water or liquid ammonia, both of which have a high specific heat. The heat exchangers then transfer the heat to another heat exchange system that consists of aluminum tubes filled with Freon. And C, the specific heat, equals 1.02 joules divided by grams Celsius. The melting point is negative 158 degrees Celsius. Aluminum tubes make up the transfer tubes and the radiator materials. Aluminum is used to prevent leaks and eliminate heat quickly. Freon is used because it will not freeze in the cold of outer space, which is negative 157 degrees Celsius. The radiators are located on the inside of the space shuttle's cargo bay doors. The doors must be open when the shuttle is in orbit to release the transferred heat to outer space. The space station uses a similar system with five radiators that stretch out like the solar panels. And so the picture is astronaut Rick Mastraccio working on the space station's radiator during a spacewalk. So you can see that he's right here, and that's what he's working on. So really, the reason they throw this in here is to show you that they're taking advantage of two things. They're taking advantage of the water or liquid ammonia because that has a high specific heat, so it takes a long time to heat up and a long time to cool off, and it takes advantage of aluminum tubes, aluminum has a low specific heat. So it heats up quick and then it cools off quickly as well. So that combination is what makes the cooling system work. And our review. Substances can store heat or thermal energy. Heat capacity is the amount of heat needed to raise the temperature of a substance by one degree Celsius. Specific heat capacity or specific heat is the amount of heat needed to raise the temperature of one gram of a substance by one degree Celsius. Celsius. Each substance has a unique specific heat. Specific heat, C, can be calculated by this equation. C equals Q divided by M delta T. Or in other words, the specific heat equals the heat divided by the mass times the change in temperature. Where Q is heat, M is mass, and delta T is the change in temperature. Specific heat influences the time required for heating and cooling. Fluids with a high specific heat are used to transfer heat in cooling systems for cars and spacecraft. So heat capacity depends on the substance. Heat capacity is the ability to store thermal energy, and it influences heating and cooling times. All right, so I'm just going to grab those last two sentences and throw them in our notes. And just as a reminder, when it has a high specific heat, it takes a long time to heat up and a long time to cool off. And that's it for this lesson.